Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Perfect. In Demons, Doha Cat plays the role of a red-eyed demonic entity that haunts a family and preys on its children. What better of symbolizing the music industry as a whole? I know. I published a whole video about Doha Cat just a few weeks ago. What else can I possibly have to say about her? Well, a lot. The music industry is currently using Doha Cat to pump out some of the most satanic videos in rap history, and it's simply too blatant to ignore. Indeed, her video, Demons, sums up perfectly everything I've been talking about for years, as it is basically about the music industry revealing its true dark and demonic side for all to see. And people are definitely feeling that dark energy. Those are the top comments on YouTube. With that being said, I've also been receiving messages that say something like, she's trolling you bro. She's making these videos so you can talk about them, and you're giving her free publicity. Let me set the record straight bro. That's not how this works bro. Here's the truth. This video would exist whether I exist or not. It is part of an agenda that was determined decades ago. I am not the target of this video, the rest of the world is. Sure, when one looks at Doha's Instagram account, one might think she is trolling. She did not join the She's an industry slave that is used by the Doha Cat is not a master troll. She's the one being trolled. She allowed herself to be turned into a literal demon in her music videos, so she could be under the spotlight for a while. Until that spotlight burns her. Let's look at her video appropriately titled Demons. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Demons was directed by Christian Breslauer, who also worked with other industry pawns, such as Lil Nas X, Lizzo, and many many others. Most of his videos perfectly cater to one industry agenda or another. Demons is heavily inspired by the movie Poltergeist. This movie is messed up in more ways than one. Its entire premise is about TV people preying on children and abducting them. Even worse, the story of the movie's young star Heather O'Rourke and her tragic death at age 12 is simply too horrific to fathom. Long story short. She reportedly died after being tortured by Hollywood creeps. In other words, the movie Poltergeist managed to embody everything that is evil, wrong, and depraved in the movie industry. And that's the inspiration for Doha's video demons. The video takes place inside a house reminiscent of the one in Poltergeist. Inside the home, we see TV static. Other than this being a direct reference to Poltergeist, we understand that the demonic activity we are about to witness is coming through screens. This is about mass media. In Poltergeist, a little girl gets abducted by demonic entities who communicate with her through TV screens. She calls them TV people. I don't see a better way of symbolizing the entertainment industry preying on children. This is a shot of an innocent child sleeping. This is who they are preying on. Yup, these people love to get children involved in their dark, depraved projects. The camera then focuses on a highly symbolic painting. The Nightmare is a 1781 oil painting by Swiss artist Henry Fuseli. It shows a woman in deep sleep with her arms thrown below her, and with a demonic and ape-like incubus crouched on her chest. The painting's dreamlike and haunting erotic evocation of infatuation and obsession was a huge popular success. Wikipedia. 
An incubus is a male demonic spirit that is said to haunt women when they sleep and engage in intercourse with them. The painting invokes the concept of sleep paralysis, while the woman is interpreted by some as experiencing <laughs> pleasure. In the context of the music video, does Doha play the role of the sleeping woman? Nope, she's that creepy crouching demon. Devil's hand sign plus snake bracelet equals pawn of the devil. This shot shows demon Doha haunts Christina Ricci as she appears to be in sleep paralysis. As you can see, Doha Cat is a hip hopified demon, complete with all kinds of bling. They really want to make their satanic obsession seem cool and trendy. Then Doha takes a bath. Of course, the scene is highly symbolic. There's a massive all-seeing eye on the back of her head. The message is, she's an industry slave. Then, a demonic hand grabs Doha right on the eye, and she immediately becomes possessed. The message is, the demonic industry turned Doha into a possessed slave. As you can see, Doha is bathing in black goo, a mysterious substance that is involved in numerous conspiracy theories. The black goo is a mysterious and evil entity that causes victims to become sick, drives them mad, or corrupts them into performing every manner of criminal activities. Often it is said to emit the smell of sulfur, and moves of its own accord. The entity is said to actively take interest in the corruption of those around itself, and is linked to a demonic conspiracy. This is the state of rap music in 2023. Christina Ricci then grabs a camera and tries to film what is going on in the attic, not unlike the movie Poltergeist. She finds this. Doha's in the dark, surrounded by goats. Because she's possessed Satan. In a scene that is reminiscent of The Shining, Doha is typing up lyrics on a typewriter. And these lyrics are pure industry slave material. I'm a puppet, I'm a sheep, I'm a cash cow. I'm the fastest growing on all your apps now. You are tired of me cause I'm on your ass now. You are mad at me cause I am all these slap now. Yup, she's calling herself a puppet, a sheep, and a cash cow. Some might say that she's being ironic, but deep inside, she knows that's 100% the truth. She's also bragging about being the faster growing bitch on all your apps now. Well, in the era of algorithms, industry plants are artificially promoted in apps. Virality is controlled. That's the reward of selling your soul. TikTok and Instagram like you. Is it worth it? Doha proudly wears a shirt that says cash cow. It is the kind of shirt a very disrespectful pimp would put on one of his hoes. This is wrong, yet appropriate for a couple of reasons. First, she refers to herself as a cow which is kind of reminiscent of Demi Lovato comparing herself to swine in a recent video. Why do these industry slaves keep comparing themselves to farm animals? Second, the definition of a cash cow is a successful product or venture that is milked by the business owners. It is something that you exploit until it stops being profitable. She should just say that she's a puppet while she's at it. Oh wait, she already did. All that's missing from this verse is the required modern female rapper lyric about her being a slave. Oh wait, there it is. I done took the whole and blew my back out. I just swallowed all his kids and spit the class out. Stay away from children you The video ends with the family fleeing away, as Doha and her demons take over the house as she yells. How my demons look. Now that my pocket's full. How my demons look. Now that you is shook. That's rap in 2023. I wish it was 1993. The movie Poltergeist perfectly symbolizes the movie industry preying on children. And the video Demons perfectly symbolizes the music industry preying on children. Through screens, the demonic forces of the industry are invited right into our homes and into the minds of impressionable children. Demons is not Doha Cat expressing herself as an artist. It is Doha Cat being used to push an agenda that will keep going, no matter who's the chosen artist of the moment. When people will get sick of her, the industry will simply choose another puppet, sheep, and cash cow. And people will be like, OMG she's so original. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? 
If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.